So let's spend a couple of minutes talking about economic and natural environment issues in the macro environment. First, we want to talk about the economic climate. Obviously, the economic climate, both globally and in the United States and locally, affect marketers uh, in, in many ways. Of course, there, are the, there is the issue of inflation. Most of you have not grown up in an inflation-based economy. Um, there is something called deflation and stagnation. The idea behind inflation is that the cost of goods continues to go up over time. That is something that cost a dollar a year ago and maybe cost a dollar five now, and in a couple of years it costs a dollar ten. That's the idea behind inflation. And inflation is okay as long as income distributions keep up with inflation. Uh, we live in, a, in, a, in an environment that has very, very low inflation. But when I was growing up, we lived through an, an era in the early 1970s that had double-digit inflation. That is, prices were going up by more than 10% a year. And in many cases, uh, wages uh, did not keep up. There is, of course, the importance of understanding recessions. Las Vegas has just lived through one of the most difficult recessions um, for this part of the country and for and, and certainly for Nevada, uh, uh, going all the way back to the Great Depression. Of course, this started in late 2007 and and drug on for a number of years after. Here, it was all caused by the um, uh, the housing shortage or the housing uh, bubble, and um, as a result, many people lost their houses, many people became unemployed, many people left. Las Vegas and, and, and Nevada, uh, looking other, where, other places for jobs. The impact on the local economy was devastating, and the, and the impact on local businesses was also devastating. There is the issue of interest rates. Right now, we have very low interest rates, but interest rates do impact uh, in companies' ability to borrow money and raise money to expand their marketing and business efforts. There is the issue of the trade deficit. The trade deficit is is how much, how many dollars and 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 number of goods are imported in the United States versus those that are exported. Uh, for many years, the United States used to have a trade a trade surplus. Now we have a trade deficit, where many more goods come into the United States are consumed by United States citizens than than we ship to other countries. The issue of the trade deficit is, is very important for the, um, for the U.S. companies, and it's something that, um, that will be, of course, discussed um, in the future. There is the budget deficit. Every year, the federal debt continues to go up, and, it, and at some point in time, someone, of course, has to pay for that. Uh, the government, right, uh, every year, the, the, um, the Congress of the United States has to come up with a federal budget. And the federal budget um, is typically the biggest discussion is reducing the budget deficits and reducing and reducing the national debt. Here in the state of Nevada, uh, the the state is not allowed to work with a deficit budget. That is, the, the state is required to have a balanced budget and not spend more than they bring in every year. Uh, and as a result, um, the state of Nevada then. Um, um, every year or every two years, or we have, we're on a two-year budget here in the state of Nevada, the budget has to be balanced. Um, sometimes that means um, that, um, that we have shortages and everyone in the state has to tighten their belt. And then, of course, there's the issue of exchange rates. If any of you traveled to Europe over the last three or four years or five years, you know that the, that the euro to U.S. dollar exchange rate was about a dollar thirty in U.S. dollars for every euro. Well, of course, that, that exchange rate has gone down dramatically. I saw this morning on TV that the current exchange rate is $1.12 in U.S. currency for every euro, and it has gotten down to as low as $1.05. And so exchange rates make, may, are very, very important for companies because it determines whether or not your goods are affordable overseas and whether or not um, goods that are being imported to the United States are more expensive or less expensive. Other things that, have, that, that are obviously are, are affecting us from an economic perspective is a shift to a service economy. When I grew up, 
There were many, many individuals who worked in factories. Of course, the factory jobs have uh, have drifted away from the United States and have been drifting away from the United States uh, to other places where 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 products can be produced cheaper uh, for the last thirty or forty years. Uh, there's lots of talk about trying to bring some of those manufacturing jobs back to the United States. Um, that is that is a challenge that um, that we'll have to look at going forward. Uh, there is this idea of low rates of saving and high levels of debt. Uh, when I grew up, most people had more money in the bank than they owed. Uh, today, obviously, it's just the opposite. Many of you, as you go through school, are accumulating debt, and and obviously, um, that's something that when you first get out of school, you try to work on eliminating your debt. Um, there were, you know, between 2007 and 2012 or so, um, the number of bankruptcies uh, nationally was very high. And of course, in Southern Nevada, uh, bankruptcies and foreclosures on houses were among the highest in the country. Uh, we are still working our way out of economic uh, crunch. In terms of the national environment, there is obviously a shortage of, uh, of raw materials, finite and renewable. Um, and so we talk about the natural environment. We talk about um, um, clean air, clean water, uh, renewable sources of energy as opposed to finite sources of energy. Um, the, uh, for a very long period of time, the cost of energy went up dramatically. Right now, the, the, uh, a barrel of oil today was, is about um, $47 a barrel, um, much cheaper than it was a couple of years ago when, when a barrel of oil was over $100 a barrel. And as you recall, some of you who were driving back then, the price of gasoline was nearly $5 a gallon here in southern Nevada. Obviously, when the price of energy is high and the price of gasoline is high, it changes the consuming patterns of individuals and, of course, makes companies have to adapt to those changing consumer preferences. And, of course, we always see the, the increased levels of pollution. And, of course, every time you drive past Lake Mead, um, you notice that the, um, the, the amount of water in, our, in Lake Mead is going down. And, of course, that is Southern Nevada's number one source of um, water for the valley. One of the questions I always try to pose to students to, is, is, do you think we will run out of clean air or clean water first here in Southern Nevada? Um, my personal belief is that we will run out of, of um, air before we will run out of water because we can always probably buy water from someone else. But that's yet to be seen.